All right, this video is to clarify those last calculations to determine the amount of lime and or sodash that would be required for your water treatment plant. And so the basis of this is going to be using uh, this information on the FE exam uh, review uh, information. So we've got this table and it's got the equivalent weights and so on and so forth. Now I'm just going to provide you some hypothetical numbers. So let's say we found that we needed, uh, we summarized all the line that was needed for the uh, calcium carbonate hardness, non-carbonate hardness, magnesium likely non-carbonate hardness, and we found it was uh, needed about 5.1 milliequivalents per liter, and then we also have the sum of the soda ash and we go through the calculations and I think your values are going to be different than these. I'm just making these up in milliequivalents per liter. So if we go back and look at our notes, and this is what I couldn't find when I was uh, trying to uh, go through my notes uh, here, but I was able to finally locate this. Uh, so we got equivalent weight again is equal to the molecular weight, all that divided by the number of electrons transferred. And it could be or the number of protons transferred in an acid-base reaction, the uh, number of uh, electrons transferred in a redox reaction. And then we know that uh, milliequivalents per liter, which is what we have uh, on this problem, is milligrams per liter of the species, all that divided by the equivalent weight, uh, which is right here. So we can uh, certainly fix this milliequivalents per liter is equal to milligrams per liter all this divided by the molecular weight divided by the number of electrons transferred and so we've got this example here with lime so let's just focus on lime at five milliequivalents per liter we know lime is the uh, reaction CaOH2 so that's the calcium hydroxide that is uh, that is formed and we can also determine how much perhaps CaO uh, calcium oxide uh, that uh, could be. But let's just keep it simple and look at the CaOH2 that's uh, added into the system. And so we can take this lime and I'll scroll down here. And so we've got lime. I don't want to do this in blue. Uh, lime is equal to, uh, let's say, 5.1 milliequivalents per liter and that's going to be equal to uh, or equal to uh, milligrams per liter all this divided by 74 which is our uh, which is our molecular weight divided by 2 or we could just use the equivalent weight which is uh, 37 here and so we can solve this and I'll just plug this in my calculator. So we got 5.1 times 74 divided by 2. That would be equal to 188.7 milligrams per liter. Now the problem statement wants us in kilograms per day. So we can easily determine that. Uh, so 188. 0.7 milligrams per liter times uh, 1,000 milligrams, 1 gram times 1,000 grams, 1 kg kilogram times uh, 1 liter. Oh, what's that? 3. Point, actually, it's the other way around. 3.78 liter, liters, 3.78 liters, 1 gallon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, times uh, 6 times 10 to the 6 gallons. That was our problem statement. And we should get a value, um, and that would be one day. Alright, so we solve for that, and let's just go ahead and do this. Divide by 1,000, divide by 1,000, times 3.78, times 6, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and it looks like I'm getting about 4,279 uh, kgs per day of lime. And we can do that same calculation for soda ash as well. Now I'm not saying this is the value you're going to get uh, with your work, but this is the uh, steps for solving that. Um, 
And so, if, and then SODASH would do the same thing using the Na2CO3 as a molecular weight of 105 or about 106 and equivalent weight of 53. So that should clarify that last little step of this lime softening plant and uh, kgs per day. So it's all kind of heard all kinds of values. So it seems like I'm in the middle of those values that uh, you have. So good luck and we will talk to you later.